today was about how this shooting in Buffalo happened. It was about the ideology that motivated the suspect and who else was responsible here. Though he pulled the trigger, others loaded the gun. Testifying in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Garnell Whitfield told members of Congress to call it like it is. The shooting at Tops on Jefferson Avenue was white supremacy, fueled by a culture of hate and rhetoric. I ask every one of you to imagine the faces of your mothers as you look at mine and ask yourself, is there nothing that we can do? Is there nothing that you personally are willing to do to stop the cancer of white supremacy? Because if there is nothing, then respectfully, senators, you should yield your positions of authority and influence to others that are willing to lead on this issue. At 86, Whitfield's mother, Ruth, was the oldest victim. She had just visited her husband in a long-term care center blocks away. In the blink of an eye, her life was ended by a man who police say had hate in his heart. I was born black and I was treated differently from the day I was born in this country. And we can't keep ignoring it. That was echoed by a professor who also testified on this five person panel, sparking the larger conversation. How did hate ideology contribute to the Buffalo shooting and why does it keep happening across our country? By the time the perpetrator has acted, too many are already dead. Are we willing to tolerate these dangerous ideas? Are we going to accept this as a country or not? Families are not willing to accept that, pushing congressional leaders to act. I am asking the Senate for their support. Not only for me and my family, but for all the families who are affected by mass shooters. For the first time, we heard from Aaron Salter's widow, also in the gallery, wiping tears from her eyes. I honor my husband for not only the sacrifice that he gave, but for the love he also gave his family. Pam Pritchett is Pearl Young's daughter in the hearing room as well, now fueled by Whitfield's testimony. The blood that seeped out brittled my mother's hair, and I touched hair that wasn't the same anymore. Every tear I cry is a fuel for action. The emotion, the toll, the reality. We're here to carry your legacy forward. Zanetta Everhart was also here today. Her son Zaire was shot in the shoulder while he was working at Tops. She believes he was helping Ruth Whitfield. He survived. Also happening here tomorrow, another hearing centered around addressing gun violence to prevent more mass shootings in the future. Zanetta Everhart will sit down with the first panel along a alongside a doctor, parents, and a fourth grader who survived the elementary school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. A second panel will include Buffalo Police Commissioner Joe Grimalia. Bottom line here today, Senator Schumer, the majority leader, wrapped up by saying, quote, when racism is left to fester, it grows. We don't want thoughts and prayers. We want votes, action to help stop this bigotry. And that bipartisan panel of senators is still meeting, hopefully to come to a deal by the end of this week. As of now, though, no deal has been reached on gun control. Reporting live in the nation's capital tonight, Ed Dranch, 7 News. Powerful, emotional conversations there, Ed. I'm glad you're there to cover, cover it for us this week.